What's going on boys and girls? What's up world? Austin John plays here and today we're going to be talking about the brand new shirt in Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> I know that's a weird way to start the video, but I couldn't think of a better one. Anyways, so Uniqlo, the Japanese clothing company who has a bunch of stores here in America, they, I think, biannually do sort of a competition, and then from the competition, there's new Nintendo-themed shirts available at their stores. I've owned a number of them here. Uh, they're very limited edition, and I'm pretty sure I don't fit in any of them anymore including my favorite, the King Carp one. But now it's time for the new competition. However, we have a little bit of controversy. First of all, on Uniqlo's actual website, there were over 18,000 entries to the UTGP Grand Prix. The UT Grand Prix. Uniqlo t-shirt Grand Prix? I don't know. And you're gonna see right at the top that the grand prize is not applicable. We're gonna get into that in a minute. The second prize is a blank white shirt with a unknown question mark on the breast pocket. And then the back, the design concept is unknown and is camouflaged with the vision test. Emily from the United States has an Alolan Executor and a Pikachu with sunglasses hanging out below it in a very, a very, like, tropic color palette over here. Like, that is, that is some warm sun coming in. Also available in kids. However, looking at all of the winners, Love this one, with the Pikachu looking at the Charmander tail. A Pikachu melting icicle, or popsicle. This super neat one, whoa. All right, so it's all of the bear Pokemon, and then you have a whole bunch of, I guess the theme here would be jungle Pokemon? It's very interesting. This one is super dope. This like minimal square. I like that one a lot. This one of all of the Ditto Pokemon. You have Ditto Gengar, Flareon, Vaporeon, Umbreon, Jolteon, Charmander, Pikachu, Electrode, Lapras, Snorlax, Coughing, Ammonite. Like there's definitely crowd favorites in there. Oh, that is awesome. That's Jesse James Meowth at a claw machine. We have all the ghost type Pokemon. We have a very angly Jigglypuff, Metamon Soda, and it's a, a ditto drink? That's weird. Be who you want to be. Ah, uh, that's a very Etsy shirt. Uh, Pikachu Neon shirt. We have Pikachu Origami. We have Alolan Marowak. We have Ash's backpack. You know when some people do what's in your backpack? That's definitely this. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. So I love this. This is a spoof on an old Japanese painting. Wave off Kanagawa. And someone took this and made the wave off of Kanto, appropriately named. It has all the Magikarp there, except there's no Gyarados. Is it on the back? Oh, we don't get to see the back. Uh, that's weird. Okay. Needs a Gyarados. This super dope Gengar. Polygon drawing of Pikachu. I have no idea. Boxing match Hitmonchan's. Pikachu jumping off of Ash's arm. And that brings us back up to the top. So the neatest part about all these designs is they are going to be available to purchase. As they do with Uniqlo, all stores as of June 24th at 10 a.m. It's going to be available to purchase. Also online. Whenever they do this, I like to go in store and actually purchase whatever designs that they have that I'm a fan of. I might do online this year. I'm not too sure. However, I want to talk about this. The grand prize not applicable. So here is the grand prize design by Li Wei Pai, who took a Gyarados and three Magikarp in, I'd say, sort of like a like an Aztec or Egyptian style, one of those two, and put them with a whole bunch of little squigglos for waves, uh, which looks really dope, and it's called the Ocean King. However, one possible reason the design was disqualified may be because it wasn't the first time that we, Pi, used the design for commercial purposes, which is against the rules of the competition. According to a translation of a now-deleted post on the Chinese social media website, Sina Weibo, it previously sold some phone cases with the artwork on it and the design ended up on t-shirts. He claimed that its subsequent appearance on t-shirts was due to people pirating his work. In a follow-up post, he said that he had explained the matter to Uniqlo. And the winner was supposed to have their shirt featured in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We can actually see in-game screenshots right there of what the trainer looked like wearing the Gyarados shirt. Which is pretty dope. Pretty dope. I think it's unfortunate that this series of events took place. I mean, oh boy, it is bright in here. It would have been nice to have a real-life shirt design inside of a game. 
other than, you know, playing the Ultra Lock or whatever. But yeah, guys, I want to know what you think as far as this. Also, let's focus on all of these really dope designs here. I, like, I am definitely picking up at least like seven or eight of these. Definitely the Pikachu Charmander tail. Oh, I did not realize the back. All right, so that's the front. The back is Charizard and a whole bunch of flying types and Mew and just all of them in like two-tone minusing. Definitely getting the pixel art. Love that. All the ditto Pokemon, Jesse and James and Meow. Yeah, like there's there's a lot of these that I'm gonna be picking up. Also, Uniqlo is super affordable. But guys, leave a comment down below on what you think about the situation. And if you think that now we should have a different shirt, maybe not this one, a different shirt brought into the game. Or heck, a lot of them. It doesn't take that long to put it into the game. Trust me, I know. Anyways, guys, if you found this informative, be sure to leave a like. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.